Monday, July the 6th, 2020. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this new edition of the Press Review on GDC Plus TV. News of supposed peace talks between the government and Joe Tambazunia leaders for a ceasefire in the northwest and southwest regions make headlines on all newspapers published today. We begin with the lone English daily, The Guardian Post, which writes that the stage is set for peace to return in the troubled northwest and southwest regions as Gerald and Bazonia leaders and government begin talks. The paper proposes reactions from Ambazonia Interim Government, Southern Cameroon's Consortium and Bazonia Governing Council, Agbo Bala and Ayapo. Read the full story on page 3 of the Guardian Post newspaper, published this Monday, July the 6th, 2020. The Guardian Post equally tells us that last weekend was another black one for Anglophones as the former minister and board chair of Sonora, John Ebongole, a PCC pastor and the former Meme education delegate, all died. From the Guardian Post, we move on to the Sun newspaper, which re-echoes news of supposed peace talks between the government and jailed separatist leaders. The paper says government delegation is led by Leopold Maxim Eko Eko, Director General at External Research. According to the paper, separatists are pressing Paul Bia to declare a ceasefire in state address military to return to barracks and jailed activist freed, among others, as foundation for the talks. Julius Ayoktabe, Mancho BBC and others are said to be attending the reported talks. Meanwhile, activist Tassan Wilfred is said to have maintained that negotiating in chains is deliberate and willful buffonry. The scoop says there is a hope for a return to normalcy in the crisis hit southwest and northwest regions of Cameroon as jailed Anba leaders and government begin talks. The Chronicle Times bounces in and indicates that Cardinal Tumi backs these talks and gives advice to separatists on how to go about the peace talks. The advice is contained in the columns of the Chronicle Times, published this Monday, July the 6th, 2020. And that does it for what the papers had to say today. Thanks for watching. A new edition comes up on Thursday.